fuck me, it's windy. Good morning, YouTube viewers. This is BG5067. On a very, very windy morning. Fucking sucks riding a 125. I've actually got my sat nerve on, I don't know if you heard that, but I've got Herbert from Family Guy giving me directions. Which is actually quite quite interesting. <laughs> what makes me laugh? When I, whenever I make a wrong turn, when he tells me to turn around, he goes, uh, Oh, looks like you made a wrong turn. You better turn this thing around, you son of a bitch, and do what I say. Cracks me up every time. I'll see if it will play when, when it reaches my house. You can see what he says when he reaches my house. Oh, come on, cyclist. We'll do a shout out. The Specky Nerd, I think that's your name. <laughs> Completely terrible with names. Let's say nice videos you got there, mate. Glad that's subscribed. Do get your. Do get your bike de-restricted, mate, when you're 17. You'll notice a big difference. If you can, get yourself a 125. Like my way we are here. Fucking hell, can't give you straight. You better keep it slow. Better keep it slow. Uh, what I'm actually trying to do... I thought I'll have a little stroll r ride around uh, Richmond's. No, 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 Richmond's uh, Richmond Park because it's a Saturday. What else to do on a Saturday, gustly morning? Ah, God, that was a battle to get around there. To get this nice view here, hold on. Very nice view coming up. Envy of the people living at these flats. Oh shit, what are they right? There it is. That view. Oh, this is better. Look at that view. Fire! Here we are, Richmond Park. It's a lovely day to be in a park. Do you know what? Dear, I got really pissed off today. I was coming to work, some screws along at 30, some twat was trying to get round me, right up my arse, right up my arse. He tried to go round, but he realised he couldn't, and stuck up my arse about a mile. I went mental at him. I've actually got it on video, so I'll put it up with this as well. But. It really, really pisses me off. I mean, I've got L plates on my bike. I'm riding a 125. I'm more than capable of keeping up with traffic on the roads. I mean, I can cruise. I mean, I've got, I've got this up to 60, but I've never really gone anywhere where it requires me to go any faster, because I live in quite close to central London, more greater London, but there aren't really any, hardly any national speed limit roads. Um, oh doggy, and it really frustrates me because if I hit my brakes, I'm fuck the fuck. He's, he he will go into the back of me, and in fair enough, it won't be my fault. But I'll be the one who's more injured than than he is. 
And he'll have a little, he'll probably have a little dent in his bumper. And that be probably with a mic that's been fucking written off. Go on. I'm just such a gentleman. Yeah, it's something that really pisses me off. They see an L, they see someone with, with L plates, and I'm sure a lot of one, two people on one, two fives. Maybe not just on with people with L plates can agree, but they see an L plate, they think you know fuck all about the road. Now, I've ridden a lot of one, two fives, waiting for many. I've ridden CBRs, YBRs, Veridaros, Veridiros, whatever you call them now, uh, which I just struggled to get on actually. <laughs> um, Yamaha Majesty's automatics. I've had uh, Ford Genera runners. Now, people people have asked me why don't I go from a test? Now, it's a good point. Good, good point. Now, number one reason why I don't is because to to do a test, not including the theory. I don't know whether the theory is part of the t well, whether it comes as part of the package. They want about between three to six hundred pounds to do test to do trainings and all that jazz fair enough I can just do do the test straight away but I don't I don't, I don't think my riding with it only with me only doing CBT I don't think it's at that level to do a test I wanted a bit more training so this this was before I decided to spend two and a half grand on the one c five horses trot 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 um, but yeah, that's one of the reasons why I chose to do uh, the side on 125. Second of all, me living in Carshorton, working in Brentford, uh, it's a 30 mile round trip. I'll get about 300 miles to a tank on this. So it's one of the reasons why I, it led me to, buy, to get a 125 to get me the YBR. Because of fucking public transport. The train to Brentford from Clapham Junction is like every half an hour, so I've missed one. I'm fucked. Uh, but yeah, and that's why I'll be sticking to. Well, I don't care about old plates. I really don't. I mean, I'm not. I mean, I'm going to keep this bike for two and a half years. So what's the point of paying? 600 quid or whatever to do a test just to remove them. What's the point? I don't plan on getting a bigger bike. I plan on sticking with what I've got for about a year or two. And it is a really nippy bike for 125s. Fair enough, it's not a sports bike. But it is still very nippy for 125 and it's a good, uh, good for central London. Half a mile. Listen out for the to the little bit. 